Hey guys and welcome to part 2 of my Camera Raw series in Photoshop CC 2015. Now today we're going to be looking at vignettes and also a really really cool trick with noise reduction within Camera Raw that can really help you out especially if you're a photographer and you're looking to smooth out their images with as little noise as possible and it just makes skin look really really nice so I'm pretty excited for this one. So. I'm going to be using an image of a model if you want to use a similar image i would recommend it because this effect goes quite well on photo shoot type images so drag and drop the image that you're going to use into adobe photoshop and i'm using this image here from wikipedia creative commons which is a free file source online for a lot of files and a lot of images so go and check that out this image here, you can see it's a pretty bland image. There is a double shadow on it as well. If that was myself, I wouldn't recommend putting an image out there with a double shadow, but that's just me learning a little bit more about photography. And now it can be a little bit more critical, seeing as though I slightly know what, what I'm talking about. Anyway, make a duplicate of your image by pressing Ctrl and J. So now you've got layers one in the layer panel and go over to filter and convert for smart filters and then just hit OK. So now your image is ready for editing within Camera Raw. So go to Filter again and select Camera Raw Filter. So as you can see in the first episode, we covered the basics of Camera Raw. So the temperature, tint, exposure, all of the little bits and bobs just to make the, you know, the basic adjustments to an image. So I'm just gonna make some basic adjustments I did cover this in episode one, as I just said, so check this video out here if you want to have a look. But if not, then just follow along while I speed this up really fast. So the idea with this image, what I thought of is I'm going to cool it down a little bit. Obviously with the pose that she's in, she doesn't look too warm. So I really want the image to reflect that. So I've, I've done the basic editing, but I'm going to do a couple more things that's going to make it really stand out and look really nice. Now at the moment, there is a little bit of noise that is visible within the image, obviously in and around her feet. If we were to you know, adjust the clarity too much, it's just going to completely blow out the image and it's going to start looking stupid. So that's pretty much the maximum that I can go on here so what I'm gonna do next is just change over to the details now I'm gonna leave the sharpening as it is for now obviously if you want to mess around with the sharpening if you put too much in it goes super grainy but I'm just gonna leave the sharpening as it is for now and what I'm really interested in is the noise reduction now the luminance, luminance detail, luminance contrast, color and color detail are fantastic, especially for images like this. So I could, you know, I could knock that up all the way to 100% and you can see that it's just completely smoothed out all of the noise within the image. Obviously, it's gone a little bit too far. It's taken out bits of the floor as well. And, and you know, if I could keep it just at the background, I would without having to use the, um, what's the name, the graduated filter. So just to stick within the noise reduction, I might just take that down to about, say, what's, what's the most I can get away with, because it does look really nice. 83, maybe, 80. I have to go a bit lower so I don't lose too much of the floor. But yeah, I'd say, I think I could probably get away with about 60. Obviously mess around with the luminance detail as well. You can bring that up and take it back down. So as you can see, it's brought in a little bit more of the floor there, but I don't want that to take out too much of the skin. So just mess around with the luminance detail and obviously the contrast is the amount of contrast in the color and the color you can increase or decrease appropriately along with the color detail as well. But I'm not really interested in those. I really wanna mess around with the luminance and the luminance details. So I'll just bring the floor back in just a little bit. Now I am going to adjust this anyway, so I'll take it up just a little bit more actually and leave it at that. And that looks pretty good to me. Now the next thing that I wanna do is I wanna add a little bit of a vig vignette to this and I wanna have a difference between the outside of the image and the inside of the image. So I'm going to click on the radial filter 
and I'm going to make a filter just around the inside of the selection or the the woman <laughs> that is another human being so just make another selection around the inside like this if you want to change it in scale just hold shift and you can drag outwards or you can drag inwards it's entirely up to you so I want mine to be pretty long I don't want to cover the legs too much I want them to go into darkness a little bit so the first option that you've got in the edit radio filter setting is to go on the outside or to go on the inside so do you want to affect the outside or do you want to affect the inside so the easiest way to see what you're affecting is by adjusting the exposure so if I just bring this down just a little bit I want to take that down just to highlight the model in the middle a little bit more go up to the top and I might change the temperature down to minus 20 is about too much I'd say about 13 just to cool that down just a little bit actually I'm gonna go a little bit lower 10 that looks a little bit better for me and yeah, the exposure down a little bit increase the contrast and decrease the highlights a little bit decrease the shadows a little bit just to darken it out at the bottom and I'm going to increase the clarity so it really sharpens out on her feet and I'm not sure about the saturation just have a mess around keep that at zero I'm going to leave the sharpness and noise reduction and everything else like that because I don't want to affect the floor too much so I think I'll just leave that as it is so if you want to add another radial filter to the inside then just click new and you'll see that you've got this dot here which represents the radial filter that you just put on and if you want to make a completely new one then just do exactly the same again just draw your circle around and then that looks pretty good to me there just affecting this middle part now on this bit what I want to do is I want to increase the exposure a little bit just to brighten it up but I might change it actually to the inside and just affect the inside of the image because I've just done the outside so I wanted to increase the exposure on the inside just a little bit have the clarity quite high as well obviously everything else just remaining how it was before and I might just increase the noise reduction as well so what that's done is it's really smoothed out the model and if you want to change the amount of the, the feathering because obviously it's quite a soft vignette that I've got at the moment if I just click on the original and I change the feather you can see that the circle starts around here and goes around the outside but I like to have a, a pretty strong feather anyway so keep that at 100 and then if you select the other one the other radial filter and make that smaller you can see that that circle is just affecting there so that's pretty much it on how you use radial filters if I just go back to the beginning you can see that this is the image that I've created which has got a lot more contrast a lot more colors it's a lot smoother and it looks like an image that you could actually you know work with with a little bit more work in Adobe Photoshop itself but that's about as far as I could take this image in Camera Raw so if you look at the original obviously it's a bland plain photo it's almost as if the the floor is pretty much the same color as as her you know it's, it's not a great image but just by spending a couple of minutes within Camera Raw you've added a custom vignette we've smoothed the image out we've added a lot more coloring and contrast between the colors all over the body and the model and that is why Camera Raw is so good. So stay tuned for part three, which I will be releasing today straight after I've edited this video. Do not be a pen tool. Please like, share, and subscribe.